We have become one asks, do you have any health problems from your crazy food consumptions? Honestly, I'm surprised you are even alive. Sometimes I'm surprised too, to be honest. Fingers crossed, obviously. As long as you keep it in moderation, I think everything is a-okay. Cause I wanna stuff my face with chocolate burgers, fries, and shake I don't care about my weight, I want a later tweet about how much I ate Oh, food, 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 won't make it hard like a person would Food, 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 actually satisfies you like he never could Hi guys, so BuzzFeed recently challenged we all to see if we could possibly be vegan for one day. Oh my god, such a challenge. So we thought we'd just give, give it, a, it go. a go. See if we can meet their fucking crazy demands. I'm gonna have uh, two caramel frappuccinos and them with uh, coconut. Sorry, is it no cream, no drizzle? Yeah. Yeah, so drizzle contains dairy, yeah? yeah. Is that Sorry. vegan on here? Yeah. yeah. that they are showing you is not butter. This toast is so dry. But you know, just, just for the sake of argument, why don't we go and ask me granda who uh, doesn't have the best eyesight. We'll ask him if he can see a difference between a piece of lightly buttered toast and a piece of toast that is not buttered. Do you want to say hello granda? Hi. Right granda, can you tell the difference between them bits of toast? What's the difference? What's well, got more Javine on? <laughs> Um, are they both vegan? It depends on what you put in them, so are they all on the rice? Oh, the rice, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. Well, drinking as a vegan is really easy. You can just check sites like barnivore.com where they have lists of like vegan beers and, and other spirits and things like that. There is just ridiculous amounts of vegan options when it comes to beer and spirits. Thanks Buzzfeed. <laughs> in England that drink don't end up at diners but maybe McDonald's and even McDonald's have vegan options. Let's say you are in the situation where you go into a diner 
which I really doubt you are in Britain. Do you want to ask if there's other options and Ted's there being a dick? You can either just sit there and you could debate back and I mean really it's that easy. You just say what, why you're a vegan because they're the arguments that convinced you and there's tons of arguments that will convince other people but even if you don't want to debate you just go Ted, yeah man, I haven't said anything about you eating meat. You know what I mean? But you're saying something about me eating a vegetable. Calm it down Ted. There we go. The cooking bean oil. Oh, I was just going to ask where you took so far. Fries vegan. Then I get fries vegan. Yeah, we, we don't mix anything. It's just potato. So, let's say you and your friends are going to go to the diner, like as, as Buzz, Buzzfeed said, and you, turns out this place doesn't have vegan options. You could always say, like, guys, this place doesn't have that many vegan options. I don't really want to eat here if that's alright. Come and go eat at one of these other many chains of restaurants that are just full of vegan options. They'll probably be like, I sure. We're kind of getting at that it's impossible to be 100% vegan 100% of the time, which may be the case, you know? You eat a bit of toast, might as well fucking become a terrorist. <laughs> Fuck you, Ted, you <laughs> dick. But Ted works at BuzzFeed, doesn't he? Fuck you, Ted at BuzzFeed. I if you are wise, you'll listen to me. Faye, I understand that it's your choice to be vegan, and I respect that. But you need to respect my choice to eat meat as well. There's a quote that says, Asking vegans to respect your decision to eat meat is on par with asking feminists to respect sexists, asking people of colour to respect racists, and asking homosexuals to respect homophobes. It is ludicrous to think that difference in opinion warrants mutual respect, especially when the opposing opinion in question not only stands for everything you are against, but also appropriates suffering, defends oppression, and encourages the continuance of exploitation. And that's by Felix Sampson. If you say that eating meat or eating any animal products is a personal choice, you are forgetting someone. You are forgetting someone. You are forgetting someone. You are forgetting someone. What choice do the animals have? A personal choice is something that only affects yourself. Like what you decide to wear in the morning or how you decorate your home. Stuff like that because that only affects you and it doesn't particularly affect or harm anyone else. But eating meat affects the animal you are eating because you paid for their murder. It's like a rapist saying that it's their personal choice to rape women. There is no reason to not be vegan, so why aren't you? What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. If you don't want to hear me swear, turn off this fucking video right now. Who the fuck tells a 16-year-old girl that? Isn't there enough eating disorders in the ballerina community, whatever you want to call it? I'm so fucking pissed. My friend sent me that the other night, and I'm, st and I'm still pissed. I'm doing this video now and I'm still furious. Number one, you're telling a 16 year old girl to avoid fruit except berries because you don't want her to gain weight. She's reaching for fucking fruit instead of, like my friend said, cakes and cookies and God knows what else, processed foods, animal products. What the fuck? Fruit, fruit. Fruit. I'm in like summer mode right now and I'm eating tons of fruit. Watermelons and cantaloupes here for breakfast. I just, I got some amazing, amazing peaches. And it's like, these foods are so low in calories, so high in water, so high in fiber, so high in nutrition. And you're telling a 16 year old girl to stay away from it. And more importantly, what the fuck kind of message are you sending her? Don't get fat. We don't want you to get fat. It's like you're causing an eating disorder in a 16-year-old girl and you're programming her to think fruit is bad. You should fucking go to jail. If you're a man and I find you, I would choke the fucking shit out of you to sleep. I will. I don't give a fuck if that's politically correct or not. You're a piece of shit telling a 16-year-old girl 
that she needs to fucking lose weight and to avoid fruit. You don't know a fucking thing about nutrition. You're a piece of shit. It's scumbags like you that ruin the fucking youth of this country. I fucking hate you. You don't know anything about nutrition. What are you going to tell her? Fucking low carb. Sugar in fruit is not the same as processed sugar. I don't know how we got here. I don't know when we got here. But it's one of the things that infuriates me the most that I hear. Way more than the protein thing. The main thing that pisses me off more than anything else in this world is that fruit should be avoided because it has sugar. Every fucking cell in our body runs on sugar. Not processed crap. I am not one of those guys that tells you to dump fucking sugar in your smoothies or on your food. Fruit, fruit is pretty much the most perfect food on the planet. Go look at it. It's beautiful. We're designed to pick this shit off a tree with our hands. It's perfect for us to grab and eat. It's loaded with fiber. It's loaded with water. It's loaded with vitamins. And it's loaded with minerals. Study after study show that eating fruit helps insulin resistance. It doesn't hurt it. I am so sick of these people. And I'm so sick of what they're doing to the youth of America. Social media and these fucking bro science people literally making this country sick and sick. And the meat and dairy industry are eating it up. They're fucking sharing these articles. They're paying companies. Meat and dairy is paying companies to do studies, bogus studies, showing that carbs are bad for you and all this nonsense. Of course, processed foods are horrible for you. But you cannot lump in the sugar in natural foods like fruits and complex carbohydrates like sweet potatoes with fucking processed sugar. You people need to wake the hell up and you people need to stop telling young girls to lose weight and avoid fruit. But I eat the shit out of it every day. How do I look? Am I fat? I'm 43 years old. I eat more fruit in the last four years than I've ever eaten my whole life and I'm leaner than I've ever been in my whole life at 43. How is that fucking possible? What are you at getting terribly fat? What do you think will come of that? Spreading the vegan message through social mediums like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter is very effective, but it's still important to get out there and do some footwork as not everybody is on YouTube. Shocking, I know. Here are just a few ways that you can get out there and spread the vegan message. Get involved in a protest. Pass out flyers or stickers. Make some tasty vegan meals for family and coworkers so they can realize that vegan food is actually very delicious and not weird at all. Flaunt it with fashion. Wear vegan clothing so that others can ask questions and you can educate them. Look for local meetups at meetup.com. Meet up with other vegans and plan activism together. One easy way that I personally like to spread the vegan message is with the checkout clerk. I ask them if they've ever tried the product, what personally made me make the switch, what I've learned, and I'll usually throw in a couple truth bombs along with a documentary recommendation. 2887. That almond milk is fantastic. Have you tried that before? Uh Uh-uh. Do you taste the nut in there at all? Not at all. And you know, I used to be really big into like, it has to be organic milk. And then I saw this documentary on Netflix. And you found out what? Well, I found out that they take the baby male cows and sell them to the veal industry. Really? So every time we think eat you're doing cheese, good, every time we eat cheese, milk, even organic, like that's a part of it. Now, because I am a super sleuth, I recorded the last two times I went out grocery shopping, so I'm checking out some of the Beyond Meat products. Well, oh, these are great. Have you tried those? I haven't. I love those. I used to be like really. Like 100%, everything had to be grass fed. And then I watched this oh, documentary sure. on Netflix called Cowspiracy. Have you seen that? No. And it talks about um, how much deforestation has to go on for um, grass fed beef. And- now you can see the second lady in the checkout line next to me. She stopped me after I turned off my camera phone and asked me, What is the name of that documentary again? So not only am I hitting the cashier clerk, but I'm getting the two gals who are checking out next to me and the cashier clerk next to me. So throwing truth bombs out to everyone. Those are so tasty. So if you get a chance, absolutely. 
Now, about two weeks later, I went back into that same store and the checkout clerk had told me that her and her husband watched Cowspiracy and they are now vegan. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee da. If you're not greedy, you will go far. Clearly there is one more aspect in my life um, that, uh, that I'm meant to do here. Go vegan. <laughs> you dick. Fruit, go look at it. It's beautiful. You will live in happiness too. Like the oompa, oompa, doompa-dee-doo. There we go.